I'm back, James Gamer here with another episode of Tower Simulator 3. Today we are back at Raleigh Durham. We haven't done one here in quite a while. In fact, I think we've only done one here. So I thought we would uh, come by and do a noon shift here. Let's go ahead and head into the tower. As you can see, it's a nice day out there today. Let's go ahead and get this guy adjusted. I'm going to bring tag size down just, just a hair. I want you guys to still be able to see that. Yeah, today our wind is calm. It is uh, zero, completely zero. And this is the uh, real weather that we are using. So apparently there's no wind. Our ATIS today is November. And we are going to be utilizing four arrivals, both 05 left and 05 right. I do not know how busy this airport will be at noon. My first time trying a noon shift, so... We'll find out, won't we? <laughs> As we always do every episode. Looks like we have FedEx 3638 Heavy ready to rock and roll. So let's go ahead and uh, we'll get them pushed back here for 05 left. FedEx 3638 Heavy pushback approved. We're going to be 05 left. Ground 05 left. Pushback approved. FedEx 3638 Heavy. And I think what we're going to do is we're going to focus today on Bravo 3 for our departures. So that's where we will have FedEx go. It's going to be this one right here, Bravo 3. And then uh, down here, let's see, we're going to be utilizing Alpha 2, which is this one right here, Alpha 2. So... That is the game plan. Let me get this thing straightened back around, but I wanted to show you guys what we're going to be doing. Whoop. Boy, it's a little touchy, that mouse wheel, you know. Little touchy there, that's a little too big, so I guess we have to go. Try again, right there probably is, is where it's going to be. All right, and like I said, it is around the noon hour here, so... Our cam reviews today, I have several of them set up. I have one over this terminal which tends to be the busier of the two, if I remember from the last episode. And we have one here of Bravo, uh, Bravo 3. So we'll see them hop on the runway there. Bravo 3 further down the runway as they lift off into the sky. And of course, we have our, our heavies over there. There's our FedEx. And then F5 over here at this main Rally intersection. Ground. FedEx 3638 Heavy ready to taxi. And then we have F6, which is going to be this terminal here. And F7, which is going to be that runway. 05 right. So those will be our static cameras, if you will. And uh, we'll also be utilizing the follow cam. So we'll see how I do this first episode that I'm actually recording of a busy, well, I don't know how busy it'll be, but a somewhat busy airport. Let's go ahead and uh, get FedEx rolling here. FedEx 3638, runway 05 left at Bravo 3. FedEx 3638 heavy, runway 05 left at Bravo 3. There we go. Negative. FedEx 3638 heavy, runway 05 left at Bravo 3. FedEx 3638 heavy. Yep. Got to get that heavy in there. We'll head on down there. You guys can check her out. Now, there's one thing I am noticing. With the update, they were supposed to fix the engine sounds. And you guys tell me, do you hear anything here? Let me know in the comments section because I hear nothing. So I don't think that that was fixed. It is as quiet as a mouse. I can hear the birds chirping. The uh, spring birds chirping. So that's a little bizarre that that is not working. Um, uh, Pretty unfortunate because I was looking forward to that. There's just no reason it should be quiet like that whatsoever. But I'm sure they'll get around to it at some point here. 
But there goes our FedEx. Moving down Kilo. And then they'll hop over to Foxtrot, which is the parallel, parallel taxiway there. But yeah, they got to get that fixed. They got to get that fixed because that's just not really an excuse for that one. All right, let's go ahead and just take a look. In fact, I'm going to get off that. Get off that jet there go ahead and take a look over here. Looks like we got a spirit over there. I don't know if they're going to be taken off or not. But. November requesting push and start. I don't see them lit up. So head on over to the other side. We got an American that is ready to go. Let's see what we have here. Looks like it's a 737. Let's go ahead and uh, get them pushed back here. America 2683, pushback approved. Expect runway 05 left. Ground 05 left, pushback approved. American 2683. And I'm pretty sure they're probably going to be pushed right back into that building. That's probably a thing. So we got them figuring that out right now. We still got our FedEx over here. Rally ground. Endeavor 5001 with information November. Requesting push and start. All right, and that Endeavor's right next to it. It's the Delta Connection. Right next to the 737. Might be a CRJ-9 or something like that. Yep, it's a CRJ-9. So, yep, right back into the building. Beautiful, beautiful, Clark. Beautiful. Very, very nice. Okay. <laughs> oh, boy. That's crazy. What a bunch of craziness that is. All right, well, we'll turn away and turn away from that mess. We'll watch the FedEx here. <laughs> Rally ground. American 2683 ready to taxi. American 2683 push. American 2683 runway 05 left at Bravo 3. Say again. Runway 05 left at Bravo 3. American 2683. Still getting used to the camera controls. I'm probably not going to be perfect there. FedEx 3638 heavy runway 05 left clear for media takeoff upon reaching altitude 1000 contact departure. Runway 05 left cleared for immediate takeoff upon reaching altitude 1000 contact departure. FedEx 3638 heavy. Endeavor 5001 pushback approved inspector runway 05 left. Ground, zero 05 left, pushback approved. Endeavor 5001. All right, we'll get our first departure out of here. See if we hear the engine spool up at some point. There they go. There they go, folks. Okay, we'll head on further down the runway, watch her lift off. And we can head back into the tower for a little bit here.
And there they go. Just clearing <laughs> the apartment complex there by probably 250, 300 feet. Round nice. Endeavor <laughs> 5001 ready to taxi. All right, we'll head back into the tower here so you guys can see what is going on. We got our FedEx that just departed. They'll be contacting departure in about 100 feet. There they go at 1,000. Perfect. We have an envoy that is coming in. Looks like America 2683 is ready to go and Endeavor is ready to taxi out. Endeavor 5001, runway 05 left. Bravo 3. Endeavor 5001, runway 05 left at Bravo 3. Runway 05 left at Bravo 3. Endeavor 5001. As you can see, not a whole bunch going on. Not a whole bunch going on there. Raleigh Ground, Brickyard 4546 with information November. Request and push and start. Brickyard 4546, push back approved. Swift runway 05 left. Ground 05 left, push back approved. Brickyard 4546. All right, we'll head on out here. We'll get uh, American 2683 rolling. On final zero 05 left. Envoy 3741, runway 05 left, clear to land. Runway 05 left, clear to land. Envoy 3741. America 2683, runway 05 left, clear for me to take off Pine Ridge Altitude 1000, contact departure. Runway 05 left, cleared for immediate takeoff upon reaching altitude 1000, contact departure. American 2683. All right. We'll get them out of here. Next up will be Endeavor 5001, our Delta connection. And, of course, we have Brickyard back behind here that is pushing back right now. So, all right, let's head back to our American. There we go. She's coming to life. All right. Didn't take them long to get up and in the air, did it? There they go. Endeavor 5001, runway 05 left. Clear for me to take off upon reaching altitude 1000, contact departure. Runway 05 left. Cleared for immediate takeoff upon reaching altitude 1000, contact departure. Endeavor 5001. Brick Air 4546, runway 05 left at Bravo 3. Runway 05 left at Bravo 3, Brickyard 4546. Four, Raleigh Tower, November 442 Golf Juliet on final 05 left. November 442 Golf Juliet, runway 05 left, clear to land. Runway 05 left, clear to land. November 442 Golf Juliet. All right, we'll get these guys cleared out. Of course, you know, doing the different camera views and whatnot, something's going to suffer, and it's going to be the strips. Definitely going to be the strips. Got them taxiing. Envoy cleared to land. 442 Juliet, or Golf Juliet, cleared to land. Southwest 2163 on final 05 right. Southwest 2163, runway 05 right, clear to land. They'll be coming in on the opposite side. Runway zero five right, clear to land. Southwest two one six three. 
All right. Looks like we got all of that set for now. Let's go ahead and we can head back out. This one coming in here. Our envoy. Well, I hope y'all are doing well whenever it is that you're seeing this. I've been wanting to put another Tower Sim 3 video out. And uh, time just hasn't allowed it. So, recording this one late on Sunday. And you guys will see it Monday. Or whenever you run across it. Let's see, how are we doing here? Are they getting off? And it's weird because it snaps to uh, another jet. I think like the previous called when I just hit the talk button. So that's kind of weird. I don't know why it does that, but when you're using the follow cam. So that's kind of weird. Yeah, I'd rather have it do that when you actually call the plane. I've always 3741 taxi to ramp by Foxtrot. Taxi to ramp via Foxtrot. Envoy 3741. See, it just did it there. Rickyard 4546. Runway 05 left. Line up a wait. Let's try this again. Rickyard 4546. Runway 05 left. Line up a wait behind an exiting aircraft. Runway 05 left. Line up and wait behind next landing aircraft. Rickyard 4546. So I'll have to figure that out because that'll drive me nuts. Got a little time before they make it in. And then on the other side, we have our Southwest that's going to be coming in. Maybe we can catch a glimpse of them off to the left there. Let's see them. And this one will probably be headed to our general aviation parking. Which is right over... Well, there's several different Rally areas, but it's by the tower. Hey, a prop. Twin prop. Nice. Southwest 59... 11, runway 05, left, clear to land. Runway 05, left, clear to land. Southwest 59011. Yeah, there are ways in the distance there. 442, Golf Juliet, taxi to ramp via Bravo. What are you doing? November 442 Golf Juliet taxi to ramp via Bravo. Taxi to ramp via Bravo. November 442 Golf Juliet. Rick Air 4546 runway 05 left clear for me to take off. Primary reaching altitude 1000 contact departure. Well, folks, at least we don't have a boring airport, so that's nice. All right, and there they go. Go ahead and head over to the other side here. We got this southwest here. Rally ground. Jet 603 with information November requesting push and start. He just arrived on 05 right and he'll be taxiing down Alpha, which will be right down here, right over to these terminals here. 
So. Southwest 2163, taxi to ramp via Alpha. Taxi to ramp via Alpha. Southwest 2163. All right, there's that. There's that twin prop that's uh, headed over there to general aviation parking behind that building all right let's go ahead and head on up to the tower here all right so this is what we have going on we got southwest 5911 on short final we'll go ahead and get these cleared out here And we have an exet jet that's ready well, for pushback. Uh, Brickyard 4676 on final 05 left. Brickyard 4676, runway 05 left, clear to land. Runway 05 left, clear to land. Brickyard 4676. As soon as Southwest here gets past our exet jet here, we'll get them out of here. Get them pushed back anyway. Exact jet 603, pushback approved, spectre runway 05 right. Ground 05 right, pushback approved. Exact jet 603. All right, and then we got another Southwest coming in here. And they are headed to the other side. So what we'll do is we'll send them down Delta. So they'll go down Foxtrot Delta Alpha. That's what we'll do. Southwest 5911, taxi to ramp via Foxtrot Delta Alpha. Taxi to ramp via Foxtrot Delta Alpha. Southwest 59011. Delta Alpha. Kind of weird. Instead of Delta, Del 2. So let's just make sure that they're going to do what we want them to do. Let's see here. Will they do it? That is the question. They are. Okay, it was just weird the way he said Delta. It's Del 2. A <laughs> little strange. Okay. I'll go ahead and... They're taxiing. We've got uh, Brickyard 4676. About Rally five ground. miles out. Exec Jet 603 ready to taxi. They're ready to go. All right. Exec Jet 603, runway 05 right at Alpha 2. Unable to take off from this runway. The runway is too short for takeoff exec jet 603. Seriously, that makes no sense. That makes no sense. Let me know in the comments below. Does that make any sense to you guys? That that small jet would eat that much runway? Especially when I could take a 737 off of Alpha 2? I don't know. You tell me, maybe I don't know. Exact jet 603, runway 05 right, via Alpha. Runway 05 right, via Alpha. Exact jet 603. Definitely have to Rally burn that in the memory bank. Envoy 4096, on final 05 left. Envoy 4096, runway 05 left, clear to land. Runway 05 left. Cleared to land. Envoy 4096. Hey, we have a jet blue coming too. Alright, so you know it hasn't been a dead shift, so that's good. That is good for the heck of it. Let's go on out here. 
and uh, follow the southwest here. In fact, we'll move to this camera over here. Well, I hope you guys are enjoying this episode of Tower Simulator 3 at Raleigh Durham. If you enjoy this type of content and you want me to keep making more of it, be sure to hit that like, that bell, and sub. That lets me know that you're definitely interested in what we're doing here on the channel. I know there's quite a community that follows um, Tower Simulator 3 and used to follow um, Tower 3D Pro, so... And leave a comment in the comment section below. I love chatting with you guys. I love hearing your thoughts on the sim. And and do you think it has potential? Do you think it has the potential to be a really good sim? Let me know in the comment section. See, they're going to be... They're going to be parking right in front of us, maybe. Maybe we'll get to see them park. Maybe we'll get to see them park. LA Tower, Jet Blue 2429 are on final 05 left. Jet Blue 2429, runway 05 left, clear to land. Runway 05 left. Clear to land. Get blue two four two nine up. Hey, look at that. Rick forty six seventy six taxi to ramp via Foxtrot. Taxi to ramp via Foxtrot. Brickyard four six seven six. Boy, he's coming in there hot. Whoop, whoop, whoop. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> he's coming in there. He's coming in there hot. There we go. All the doors are opening. All right. They're going to get them all set up. Get the passengers out of there. Let's head on over here. We got Exet Jet. That's going to take up the whole runway, apparently. So Exet Jet 603, runway 05 right. Clear for me to take off upon reaching altitude 1000. Contact departure. Runway 05 right. Cleared for immediate takeoff upon reaching altitude 1000 contact departure. Exec Jet 603. Yeah, that's kind of weird how I hit the shift key and it snaps to a different view instead of that that jet I'm talking to. So, kind of weird. I don't know. Like I said, I'll have to figure figure that one out. How I can avoid that from happening. I haven't figured it out yet. All right, on the other side, we've got Envoy. Just look at that. Boom, touching down. That's kind of a cool view. Just like as if you're at the airport. All right, we'll head back over here. I'm just kind of curious to see how much runway they take up here. I mean, it is taking them a while to get up to speed. Yep, and folks, I have not been able to figure out the stutters, so I know that's a thing. Not sure why, but it's a thing. It's crazy because you can run, you know, LSPDFR on the uh, GTA 5 platform with all the modifications and everything, and... Uh, not have any issues at all. And then something like this, the sim, all kinds of stuttering issues. So, Raleigh Tower, Delta 2058 on final 05 left. Envoy 4096, taxi to ramp via Foxtrot. Taxi to ramp via Foxtrot. 
Envoy 4096. Yeah, we'll get them moving on out. To uh, Foxtrot here. And we'll go ahead and deal with Delta. Delta 2058 runway 05 left. Clear to land. Go. Runway 05 left. Clear to land. Delta 2058. Hey, here comes our jet blue. Head on over there. There she comes. And they also have to go down Foxtrot. Same way that Envoy's going. JetBlue, see, I don't understand that right there. Where, what are we looking at here, right? What are we looking at? JetBlue 2429, taxi to ramp by Foxtrot. Taxi to ramp by Foxtrot. JetBlue 2429. All right, let's go ahead and head into the tower. There's really not a whole lot to see in here. We we have our uh, Delta 2058. That's about seven and a half miles out. Go ahead and get these guys out of here. We'll get the that blue just touched down. Clear these ones out, and we'll go ahead and move. Delta 2058 over into the landing zone there. And then we have our Exet Jet 603 that departed quite a while ago. All right. And we got a Delta coming in here soon. It's an Airbus 321. So we'll get to see an Airbus 321. And our uh, Delta 2058 coming in is an Airbus 319. That one's about four miles out now. All right, let's go ahead and hop on out here. Our follow cam on. The 2367 runway zero five left clear to land. Runway zero five left clear to land. Delta 2367. All right, they're pulling into their gate, and let's head on over and check out this Airbus 319 coming on in the Delta. Go ahead and zoom in a little bit here. Delta 2058, taxi to ramp via Foxtrot. And then we got one more coming in. That's going to be our uh, Airbus 321. And I think we might call an episode there because there is just not much else happening after that. So, in fact, I'll take you guys into the tower. And you see just what I'm talking about here. There's just not 
not a lot going on, so I think we'll uh, call it an episode when that one comes in. I think we're probably at, well, we're already at a 40-minute mark, or pretty close. It'll be 40 minutes. So that'd be about a good time to call her an episode. And I do appreciate all of you guys stopping on by, you guys and gals. Checking out the channel and hanging out with me. I do appreciate it very, very much. All right, they're about four miles out. I guess we can go out to the field and uh, look for them. Raleigh Ground, Brickyard 3652 with information November, requesting push and start. See, they're back behind there. We'll go ahead and push them back. Brickyard, 3652, pushback approved, spec runway, 05 left. Ground, 05 left, pushback approved. Brickyard, 3652. Back, let's go ahead and zoom in a little bit here. How about that? Our Airbus A321. Touching down an 05 left. Raleigh Ground, Frontier Flight 102 with information November. Requesting push and start. All right, folks. We'll call an episode right there. Thank you once again for joining me for this episode of Tower Simulator 3 here at Raleigh, Durham. I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. I know I did. I have a lot of fun doing this. And, uh, you know, let me know what you guys thought. Did you like bouncing in and out of the tower and the different camera views and all that sort of thing? I might not be able to do it so much. Might not be able to do it so much. An extremely busy shift, but I will try my best if you guys enjoy it. Several of you have so far said you enjoy this, being able to go in and out of the tower like this. So I try to do a blended mix of it. Um, yeah, and it's not the easiest thing to do. So <laughs> I'll tell you that right there if I'm honest. However, I do enjoy doing it. So let me know. Let me know on that. And of course... Folks, I will catch you all in the next one. Uh, bye bye now. Delta 2367, taxi to ramp via Foxtrot. Taxi to ramp via Foxtrot. Delta 2367. Rickard 3652, runway 05 left at Bravo 3. Runway 05 left at Bravo 3. Brickyard 3652. Frontier Flight 102. Push back approved. Respect runway 05 left. Ground 05 left. Push back approved. Frontier Flight 102.